right way. It's gonna be great, gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Good morning. Morning, boys. Morning, Melbourne. Good How morning, Lozzie. How are we all? Well, I'm uh, good. How are you? I'm well. Yep, we're good. Thank you. That's good. Great. We had a nice little team lunch yesterday. We did. We went out. We don't get to do that very often. A show lunch. It's good. Yeah, lovely. What time do you get home? We're not doing this. Okay. You know what I don't like? <laughs> Mother Teresa over here. Yeah, no, Clint's very boring and judgy. Just, Would you say I've he's got, judgy now? Oh, so judgy. I'm not judgy. I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> you are I'm judging. taking it all in, you are- and it's fascinating. <laughs> Keep just- in mind, this is the guy that the Logies, we had to take you off the news. Oh, how many times are we going to mention that? Honestly, you've rocked surely up with you've no underwear on while doing yeah. the news. Yeah. Like, you've had your moments. I have had my moments. And, and they've been good moments. Don't- they've been great moments. Don't and Jace has rocked today. up in the same clothes as yesterday. Why is that? What's... It's gone down there. You had a shower I- in the office shower this morning. Did I you? was contributing to <laughs> our... Economy. Economy <laughs> and our hotels. Hospi- hus- oh, good Hospital on you. doing it tough. Also, so. traffic at 11 o'clock is quite heavy on the Nepean. So, I thought <laughs> 11 p.m. last night didn't want to be stuck in gridlock. So, I thought I'll stay in the city. It's <laughs> a good strategy. <laughs> Great strategy. <laughs> yeah. So. Good on you. Yeah. You know what? This is why I don't leave my suburb. Mm. I've got to grow up, Lauren. Little stay in the city, nothing better. They always say, you know, breakfast the next morning is great they as well. Oh, the hotel buffet breakfast. Oh, they offered early for breakfast. <laughs> There's no buffet breakfast in my house this morning. No, but we do have $135 worth of McDonald's on the way. Oh, my God. Jason Hawkins. <laughs> Good heavens. What's on the show today, guys? We have a fun show coming up today. Track's going to join us a little bit later on. Christian Petrarca. Be good to catch up with him, see how the uh, oh, the recovery no. is going. No one dialed him last night, did they? Because I know the team was heavy on the phone I, calls. I was getting a few texts and phone calls. Were you from who? <laughs> I was home oh, in bed by 8 o'clock. The usual culprits. So, you, you know what? i got to say. I don't know what happened after that. Mum, you're in good form. Thanks. You're in great, good, great form. I was having form. a great time. Yeah. Um, anyway. We got Sally Cap on the show today. Lord Sally Cap, final week for her. She's going to be joining us. It's a crazy run out sale yeah. over at uh, City Hall. She's on her way out. God, you'd be cleaning that joint out, wouldn't you? Surely there's something to flog. Surely. Surely, Surely there's some perks that come with being the mayor. You'd back a ute straight Speaking up to that Speaking of politics, Biden and Trump head I know. to head today. Oh, is that today? It's today. Today. There's no studio audience, though. They're Why? Both ag- well, I don't oh, know. I oh, think because really? they're both a bit... Jittery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't want an audience. Oh. Little do they know there's going to be gazillions watching on television. But anyway. That is going to be... Car crash television. Oh, yeah. And I cannot wait. Um, should we play some of Trumpy's finer moments throughout the show? Yeah, let's do it. What yeah. do you got? Um, just some of the random crap he speaks, to be honest, <laughs> in his speeches. Um, so, look, yes. Well, Sally- he was saying the other day that his wife won't let him buy bacon anymore. No, no it's that? too expensive. Is there anything you're not allowed to buy at home or something that Paul is not no. allowed? No. I run that house. No <laughs> one tells me anything. <laughs> She's right. <clears throat> Plenty of things he's not allowed to do or yeah, say. Right. Or yeah, right. Yeah, but the yeah, other yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, nah. yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. And our lights on sing along a little bit later on this morning as well to bring in the weekend. Good morning, Melbourne. You are on the air with Jason Lauren. Clint's here as well. You're listening to Never 100. Happy Friday. Guys, um, I'm currently taking photos of things in my house and sending them out to past visitors. During the clean out. What do you mean? Like a lost and found yes. pile? Everyone's oh. got a lost and found in their well, house. Well, because we're moving in a couple of weeks. Mm. Everything's got to go. So we're unpacking like wardrobes. We're just pulling things out. And we're coming across like jackets that we oh, know are not house ours. Guests. Donate. Random house guests. Yes. You've had a few over the See, journey. We do that after we have people over the next morning. A uh, text goes out to everyone with all the found items saying who owns these. Oh, that's Collect solid. now or I'll drop back to you or forever hold your peace. Yeah, I, I should just do the group text then. Yeah, yeah. I've you been doing individual good? items. No, you just do a whole, all your friends. You, you don't have that many friends. No, 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 no. I've, I've, You're a creature of habit. You've got about six people in rotation. Yeah. Send every item on the group text and That's just say good. who owns what. What have you found? Uh, it's a couple of nice jackets, but there was one I said to Lou, don't send a photo of that. And I tried it on and I was like, no, nah, send it out. It yeah. doesn't fit. Um, but when it comes to lost and found, you know, it popped up on my uh, feed on the gram the other day. What? Check this out. 
Did you know that if a suitcase goes unclaimed for three months with no name on it, the contents can be sold? It happens to 0.03% of bags. I heard that you could buy people's lost airline luggage. My first thoughts was, oh my God, that's terrible. That's right. Sorry, this is like a lucky dip. At the luggage. airport, if luggage isn't claimed for three months over at Heathrow, you can go on the website and buy it. And buy a suitcase. No. And you don't know what's in it. Lucky dip. Oh, that's very strong. They should just destroy it. No, no, because some of the bags. Well, you want someone's like dirty undies and yeah, socks. Yeah, even for 80 bucks. Like there was there was one YouTuber, I went down a massive rabbit hole and started watching videos because they were doing the unboxing. Mm. And she paid 80 bucks, got this suitcase that rocked up. The suitcase was like a proper good quality suitcase. So she's already good ahead. Good quality. Good quality. 140 <laughs> bucks for the suitcase. So she's already ahead. It does happen. The other day I left How? Melbourne. Where do you buy it? On Sorry. a website. Let's buy one. It's, that's what I thought. The other day I left Melbourne Airport, got in the Uber line, got to Channel 9. No. I not only discovered <laughs> that my bag was on the baggage belt, that I'd left my bag uh. there, my car was also parked at the airport. Oh, I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. Are you serious? You get in an Uber. Forgot both. Just straight for the Uber line with my backpack. That's not down the road either. I That's know. all the way at Tullamore Road. I know. My bag could be in this other little <laughs> section. Did you call him or did you go back? No, I went back. I went back. Oh, we had to get your car. <laughs> we got home once. Are you serious? I'm serious. We got home once with a suitcase and then opened it and oh, we were like, oh, no, this is no. not full of our things. Oh, no. Like the sa- everyone's got the same Samsonite. Did you no, have no, no, no. Ever if, since mum's made me put a silly little ribbon on it. Oh, so everyone she knows does which a red one, ribbon? Yeah, everyone well, whatever. Does the ribbon. I think I've got a green one, so she knows which one's ours. So I always, just, always look at the low. Yeah, but it's fully someone's packed clothes. What was in it? Just some other lady's clothes. Oh, Were so they nicer than good. yours or? Uh, I didn't, I just, we didn't actually do a try on. Because you feel <laughs> <We were> just <laughs> like this is ours. <laughs> it called it, the airport. It was a twirl. And they were like, yeah, yours is here. She thought hers had been taken. I would have done a full fashion parade. Big night tonight in politics. Even I won't buy bacon anymore. It's too expensive. I said, I'd love to have some lovely bacon, darling. And she said, no, I'm sorry, it's too expensive. I have this beautiful, luxuriant hair. And I put stuff on. And I put it in lather. (laughs) It's just... It's concerning. So it's the presidential debate tonight. Yeah, the first time a sitting president has debated a former president in <clears throat> American history. Really? Extraordinary. One of which could be going to jail and the other one might be asleep. Well, we don't <laughs> wow. know. Yes. We don't know. It'll be interesting. Guys, all of a sudden, K-Rod wasn't that bad. Where do you watch, it, do you watch it? Where do you watch this? <laughs> It'll be on this afternoon. I think it starts maybe late this morning. But is it broadcast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. God. CNN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CNN. But where yeah. can you watch it in Australia? On the news. CNN. Oh, do we have CNN? Here? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. I'm a Channel 9 girl. Yeah, right. Gotcha. I'm a Tom Steinfeld, Elisa Loxley. Is that cable? Clint Stanaway and Tony Jones kind of girl. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, well, yeah, it is. Yeah, right. I'm sure the highlights will be on yes, Channel 9. Yes, yes, they so. will be. Yeah. Yeah. All the highlights. Yeah. You won't miss a beat. But these are like luxurious <laughs> hair. Because I don't know if I need to watch the whole thing. No, 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 no. I might no. just watch the best bits. You just want the clip stuff. Just the best just bits. The TikTok, clips. TikTok will have it. Good luck oh, to sleepy Oh, it'll be yeah. on TikTok. Good luck to sleepy Joe. It is just gone. Good luck to all the candidates. May the best man win. This is Nova 100. You're on the air with Jason Lauren. Clint's here as well. We're doing a thanks to our mates at What If It Is Aussie for Travel. Um, nice little team lunch yesterday. We had a te- We did. We have only um, recently got our full team in line. Mm, yeah. The team's locked in for the year. So we decided to have a team bonding exercise. It's been a very big start to the year. <laughs> Just here for the at year, Nova. right? Don't unpack, guys. <laughs> only six <laughs> months left. There you go. You got your warning. Yeah, you're on well, notice. <laughs> well, should have seen them all when you're like they're locked in for the year. And how how was? I mean, since the start of the year, we haven't had the solid team fully locked in. Right now, they're locked in. But for- but keep your engines running in the car park for the year yeah. and for hopefully many years to come. Yeah. But you know, do we have a good time? I didn't really explain that well. What's that? Do we have a good time? Well, Clint, you weren't really there, which was annoying because we booked it on a Thursday, thinking mm. perfect. Clint flies to Sydney on a Friday, mm. so it'll be a Thursday. Great. We missed you. But then I, you had to do the neuros. I had to do the neuros. Be very responsible. We asked for the pub to turn it on. Oh, yeah. They and? said that they only do football games. Oh. Yeah. I was reporting on football. Well, like, can you crank it through the speakers, please, in the beer garden <laughs> at PAs? Everyone will love it. Yeah. That's what <clears throat> they're here for. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, the headlines are on. Nine news at six. Yeah. So we had a good lunch. Good. Delicious, actually. Yeah. Jace, you know, they. I so tie. there was what? Get tw- I tie? <clears throat> 
No, we went to Baby Pizza. Yeah, Italian. Oh, Italian, yes. We went, what were there, 12 of us maybe? Yeah. And, you know, do we want to do a group order and we all share or is everyone ordering individually? So we decided to do the group order. Jace was like, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And out of the corner of my eye, I was like, he's not doing this right. Why have we left the guy who's never been to this restaurant before to do the ordering? Oh, no. Everyone so was I was yelling things at me. Arachini. You would have over ordered though. Barata. No. He under ordered. He was like, that's too much. You kidding? I took over. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I ordered all the starters. You ordered. Yeah. How dare you? I know. There was 12 people and he goes, one burrata. No. One. You need three. You need three. <laughs> one fried calamari. Three. You need at least three. Thank you, Clint. Mm. Bread yeah. basket. Uh, probably two. two. Probably <laughs> maybe even four. No, no, no. It's the, we got the mixed bread basket, which is for a group. Anyway, we had to double down on the bread because we love a carb on our show. So there we did so that. There were so many Arachinis that looked like a ball pit. They right. were everywhere. But how many got left over? <laughs> I'd love to swim in that ball oh, pit. <laughs> they were all eaten. You know what they were? They were cut your pepper, Arachinis. Oh, balls. cut your pepper. Can you Cheese. say that on the radio at this time? Cheese and pepper. Yum. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that was great. Lunch was great. We ordered the perfect amount of food. We finished it off with a... Get up, my soul. Oh, beautiful. And then you went home to bed. What is <laughs> Then we went to PR. Delightful I wanted to get afternoon. on a tram and no one would get on a tram with me because we've got an Irish producer. Yes. I was like, let's go to an Irish pub. Instead, we went to PA's. Sport, Great pub. Sport local. Um, and then afterwards, I took the team. that are I, f- I'd gone home. I was not there. Mum was not there. So, Dad took the children. <laughs> Dad took to- the children on an excursion. This is why Dad doesn't leave his suburb. Um, are you okay today? Do I'm you great. Feel- All good. Hangxiety? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I love hangxiety. Nothing compared to our poor producer, Gen G- Z. Gen Z. Gen Z loves Clint. a night out, but normally Socially we're not excited. there. She dropped yes. an entire tray. Oh, and I'm, yeah. I'm not talking four drinks. Like It was 12 of us out. Mm. <laughs> smash. In Every the glass smash? Every glass. glass I've gone went. home at this point. Every, My bad. Every, <laughs> my bad. Every week. Were you saturated as well, Gen Z? Yeah, I actually woke up in my clothes this morning. I was like, why is my shirt wet? <laughs> Did you go home straight after? Yes. That's, that sounds like a lie. Did can you someone offer... confirm or deny? Did she go home after she, she spilled the home. tray of drinks she on herself? Absolutely not. <laughs> did you offer to help clean up the drinks? Oh, this you know, poor girl. You, you this, know when you're, oh, you're yeah. drunk and you're just like, oh, I'll help. I'll yeah. help. And, then like, no. and you're picking up pieces of glass and everyone's everyone like, oh, get away. It's fine. I've got it. Yeah, she came out with the broom and just the- she The had broom a, and the little bucket. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she had a, a filthy shovel. look on her face and rightfully so. Because the poor girl, like there was no one in the bar. For her, it was just, it was going to be a nice quiet night. Oh, Gen Z. <sighs> There's that Jason Lawrence show, that Jace Hawkins and- He's the young girls that he hangs out with. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 20, 14. I would like to know, have you embarrassed yourself at a work event? Oh. Christmas parties would be Christmas up. parties. That's why they have them at the end of the year, though, because then you're like, I don't need to see these yeah. people for another yeah, six weeks. it's not weeks. the place Thank to do God. the worm. Mm. 13, 20, 14 is our number. Have you embarrassed yourself at a work function? In return? Oh. Bottles of wine, surely. No. <laughs> <laughs> $200 Kogan vouchers. Oh, great. Cool. Up for great. grabs. Kogan's great. Love Kogan. $200 oh, little Kogan voucher. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on. I've never done such things. Oh, please. You? Oh, my God. 13, 20, 4, 10 to join us on the air. Um, feel free to dob in a workmate as well if it wasn't you. And maybe Karen from Accounts really tied one on. Maybe someone tried to do the splits at the Christmas party. Oh, yeah. That never ends well. It never, never ends well. Never ends well. Same with an open mic situation. <laughs> oh, never ends well. <laughs> <laughs> 2410. We'll take your calls next. Uh, Team Little Dusty this morning had a little lunch out yesterday. Well, speak for yourself, actually. No, I pulled up fine. Thank you. Well, some of the team. I you am fresh as a daisy. Thank you, Clint. Clint, uh, obviously, you're on the shred. Yeah. Fit and healthy. I came for a an espresso and then left. Yes. But the rest of you rat bags we're kicked drinking on and on and on and on. Espresso martinis. We would like to know on 13, 24, 10, have you embarrassed yourself at a work function? Oh, we're kicking things off with a Christmas party. Oh, well, that's where all good disasters happen. That's where we all do our best work. Yeah. Yes. Steph, what <laughs> happened at your work Christmas party? Was it you or someone else? Uh, it was me. Right. Um, <laughs> So I, uh, we were all dancing, and it, um, someone was like, "Oh, can anyone do the switch?" And I was like, "Yeah, I can." You just said so this. I did a. It was like a full-on kick split, and I landed it, but 
fully tore my hamstring. No. Oh. So could you not yeah. get back up off the floor? <laughs> yes, you did. No, so I got up off, I got up off the floor <laughs> and just like played it cool. Um, luckily, everyone was really drunk. But the next oh. day um, we woke up, my husband and I woke up and I had the biggest, blackest bruise on the back of oh. my leg. Yeah. And how many people were, were witness to this? Um, there was probably about five. So luckily okay. it was oh, too okay. many. Right. And how long were you out of action for? Um, so I, I definitely couldn't go to work on the Monday. <laughs> but Steph, you're back for next Christmas, right? Back for next month. See, I think uh, I think cameras should be banned at functions as well. At work functions, yeah, absolutely. Mm. It, like literally, what happens at the work function stays at the work party. Hundred yeah. percent. I've got a video of you from. G'day, Dan on thirteen twenty four ten. Which one? The old the old place Christmas party. <laughs> you remember party. when he made a speech, Dan? Yeah, it's any Christmas wonder party. we are not there. Dan, how are you? <laughs> no surprises. There. I'm better than you, Jake. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> what happened? Uh, uh, I'm a truck driver, so there's plenty of uh, stories I've got, but there's one that's probably suitable for radio. Right. Is uh, Yeah, we're out on the dance floor. It was the 90th birthday for the company, and I'm out there doing one-arm push-ups. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get I was, on you, uh, Dan. Doing a, doing a shred at the time, and I thought, yep. I'll, yeah, I'll bust these out. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And absolute flog. Did, oh, <laughs> no, nothing happened. You just said, yeah, I'm an absolute <laughs> flog. <laughs> yeah. Were people impressed? That, that, sorry? Were people impressed? One guy was. Yeah, right. <laughs> How many people were there? Uh, 50 odd. Oh, um, and mm. you, well, you impressed one person. One arm push ups. Well, strong. You should have done that at Baby Pizza yesterday. Well, one arm. <laughs> just, just drop. What is a one arm? How do you not face plant with a one arm? Well, that's the thing. I could. You got to have a strong core. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do strong everything. I can't do two armed push ups, (laughs) let alone a one arm. You can't do ten one armed push ups. You cannot do that. (laughs) You don't know. Show me. Get come on. One arm push up time. You're in the same clothes as yesterday. Over here, please. So you look like a vision of health. Here he goes. He's walking around. He's going to attempt to do ten one armed push ups. Just so a Melbourne are aware, looking through the where my view right now is Jace getting set to do his one arm push ups through the studio window. I can see a bag of McDonald's. He's just demolished. He's had twenty nuggets. You got to start up in. Oh no, he's like a beach seal. Here we go. Here we go. For real now. Okay. Okay. So one hand behind the back. You got to go back down again. <laughs> this is a terrible scene. I'm so maybe you I'm need actually to do glad them drunk. Melbourne can't maybe that's, that. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, no, that was not cute. You haven't. It's also, been, I feel been sorry for your wife. S. It's been a while since I've done them. To be honest, yeah. it looks like it's been a while since you've done a few things because that was not good form down there. Hello, Kath. Poor Lou. Poor Lou. Hello, Kath. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? We're good. Wait, hang, on, hang on, Kath. Just let the big boy catch his breath. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you embarrassed yourself at a work function there? I did, but it'll all make more sense to you when you realise who I am. It's <gasps> Kath from Heartmake Hotel. Oh, oh my Kath. God. Okay. Kath. So a bit of context here. Um, Kath, Ka- Kath came along to one of our events where we put her and her hubby up for a night at a hotel. Yeah, to try and rekindle their marriage because they hadn't spoken to each other for two days. <laughs> oh, no. Was it Mark? Mark ate yeah, your leftovers. Yeah, yeah, she had leftover steak in the fridge that she wanted to eat, and Mark yeah. ate it, and she didn't talk to him for two days. Grounds for divorce. <laughs> are, are we still, still together? going okay? Oh, yeah, we're still at it, like oh. fighting and stuff. Yeah. We're oh, still right. fighting and stuff. Still at it. <laughs> still at it. <laughs> well, tell, you, tell him we said hello. Okay, what happened? I will, I will. So I started a job, say, in August, and then at Christmas they took us into the city, I think it was at the MCG up, up the top there. Yep. yep. Open bar. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I fell over before we even walked in the front door, so I took the high heels off and put the songs on after that. <laughs> Good girl. But after a couple of drinks in, I started dancing, and I was sticking my tongue in my boss's ear. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Yeah. And then we did a footloose dance and I face planted. But I got back up and then the next morning I realised that I'd fractured my elbow and I ended up in hospital. Oh, ah. Kath. How was your boss's ear? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's ne- well, he's never recovered, but I'm still working for him four years later. Wow. Kath, <laughs> you're in. We love you, Kath. Yeah, How did she fracture the elbow? Or she face yeah, planted during... Footloose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Footloose, Footloose will get you. do it. Footloose It'll will get, get you. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Just gone six past seven. Yes, the big debate tonight. 
Sleepy Joe taking on Trump. The presidential debate. It's going to be a very intellectual conversation. I'm being baked. I'm being baked like a cake. <laughs> he comes out with some ripping one-liners, doesn't Donald he? Trump, doesn't he? Yeah, Biden's not far behind. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him... Uh, put, put, that happens to me, though. That happens to me. But don't you, blame. You're not the president. Don't blame age. You could be. You could be our prime minister one day, Clint. You think so? I'd God. vote for you. Would you? Yeah. Help um, us all. <laughs> yeah, you'd be a good prime minister. Uh, imagine, you know a lot about imagine a lot. balancing the books. The budget wouldn't be a pretty thing. Are you cooking, cooking the books? No, uh, no none of balance, us. I'll balance balancing. it. None of us could ever do the budget. Nah. Who does that? The treasurer. The treasurer. Yeah, There's that, a treasurer for that. Yes. Yeah, that would be your job as prime minister, Stanaway. Although you got to pull your socks up a bit. Did you forget your mum's birthday yesterday? Oh. I was saved by Lauren Phillips. So Lauren texted me. We're Jace. at lunch yesterday and I thought, I might just text Clinton check. And so I said, is it your mum's birthday today? Expecting Strong. you to go, sure is. Strong. And That's I not said, the response I got. <laughs> oh, God. Clint. And the only reason I knew is because my mum... Wrote on his mum's Facebook page. Oh, Happy birthday. That, we're still doing that? We're still <laughs> yeah, that on Facebook page? Uh, emoji, oh, mum, emoji, mum emoji. Is, <laughs> it's yeah. a low point, isn't it? A champagne emoji. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lauren. Um, I'm thank indebted you, Liz. to you. You're yeah. welcome. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Tones. Yep, good on your Tones. Oh, I still forgot. Happy birthday, mum. <laughs> Nova's. I got bills. Pay your bills. No. Let's do it, Lozzie. We are paying your bills. All you have to do is register your bills via the Nova Player app. We know times are tough at the moment, so look. Any way we can help, we want oh, to. Wouldn't it be nice to have your rent paid? Well, that is what oh, is happening yeah. for Nathan from Wyndham. If you are listening right now, you need to give us a call in the next 20 minutes and your rent will be paid. You applied to have the bill paid and that's how easy it is. Our next guest has the keys to the city. But no matter how much we pester her, she doesn't want to give them to us. I swear, we just want to look around. Hello, Melburnians, everybody that lives, works, studies and plays in this wonderful city of ours. She's been a leader of the local community for the last five years and is now passing the baton. Please welcome to the show, Lord Mayor Sally Cap. Sally Cap, good morning. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, uh, mixed emotions. I've loved being the Lord Mayor of Melbourne. There's no job like it, uh, but I'm excited to look for new adventures I as was, well. Um, I was saying to Sally just before we went on air, I went, you clean that place out, mate. Whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, right the stationery What is there to yeah. take? Oh, well, yeah, you, surely what are some, some of the perks in the Lord Mayor's There are so office. many great things in there. Yeah, the, the robes and the chains, they're pretty cool. Yeah. What's the one thing that you had to do that you didn't want to do? Was there like, anything, hey, or anything you said, oh, I ain't doing it? You would have cut some ribbons at some pretty oh, yeah. dodgy oh, stuff. Yeah. Here's another plaque. <laughs> well, I actually celebrated the opening of a public toilet in Carlton. <laughs> And I didn't think the team had gone hard enough on the <laughs> celebrations. So I went down uh, and bought balloons and streamers and blew them up. Yourself? Yeah. Lord and, Mayor Sally and Cat, you can't them up do with that. some of the locals because it was so exciting. The locals had been wanting this public toilet Where was for it? years. It's still there, Faraday Street. Is it fancy? Very fancy. I it's do. one of those silver new ones. Mm, it's I really like they freak one. me out. I like a good one. What happens in a blackout if you're stuck in one of them? You die. You just <laughs> it's stay It's a bit there. like you, you being trapped in a house while yes. you wait for somebody to come and find yeah, you. Right. Yeah, um, hide and seek. Can I cast your mind back to when the conversation was happening going, hey, should you put your hand up and go for Lord Mayor? Because we joke around going, hey, Clint should do it. And the first thing we say is <clears throat> too, many, too many skeletons. Yeah. Was that a concern for you? Like, was there anything going, well, you know what? How much history needed to be cleared? Exactly, yeah. Well, delete the old Facebook page. (laughs) This is a a really um, good story, actually, because um, when I first put my hand up, my husband and I, we cleared out our dining room at home. We went to Officeworks and got colour-coordinated files and pens and post-it notes. That screams We decided, yeah. (laughs) This this is what it was all about. We decided this was our HQ and it was all going to happen. And then we sat down at the dining room table and looked at each other and thought, we've got no idea. Mm. So we ended up getting 
some help with a, a campaign manager and she <laughs> Hang said... On, sorry, that was going to be your campaign. You were going to do it, it on your own. <laughs> we were, we were going to do it. It was <laughs> like staple string and sticky tape. Wow. Uh, but anyway, we ended up getting um, some wonderful help and this campaign manager, one of the first things she said to me was, you're going to have to hand over all of your social media accounts. I'm going to get one of these yeah. corporate investigators to go back and <gasps> just oh, identify that me no, with anything. No, no, yeah. this is before, right? This, this is, is like before. So this that is when before you run. anything. <sighs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, of course, so that, I mean, at least we've identified those skeletons yeah, and we yeah, can yeah. deal with them. See, Clint would have poured petrol over his phone and just lit it on fire. <laughs> and what did they do that? Well, I'm, I'm really, I'm either pleased or ashamed to say that the corporate investigator came back and said, this is the most boring person I've Hair ever feet. had mm. to investigate. I didn't have social media accounts. Really? I wasn't. See, I don't trust people. I'm of people. an older generation to you. Yeah. I don't trust people that don't have any digital She's perfect footprint. Yeah. For the job. Well, now that now I do. Yeah. You, you know can what? go back on my current. Sally, one. maybe Boring. it's just perfectly <laughs> hidden. That's the other thing. It's just perfectly hidden. Can we hidden. get that guy's name? <laughs> yeah. Let's, <dig laughs> Let's see what he can dig up on the oh, trail. Oh, absolutely not. Do you think oh, it yeah. would take much? No. No. no In fact, really. this conversation will probably do I, it. Um, What's the cool stuff that goes with the job? Well, do you know what? I've got the best. Um, Network, I've had the best invitations. Yeah. I've been able to learn so many things. I've met incredible people. I mean, think of all those inspirational stories during COVID mm. of people that turn their restaurants into yeah. Uh, yeah. kitchens producing meals for people that uh, were going without. Oh, no, I've got a question. Go on. Yeah. I was going to ask if it was a perk. They're wonderful people that did all that through COVID. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> well, you really did. I was, I was like, in inspirational mode. Go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First Ask responders, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. I stood in line for a long time at the post office and it's annoying. The it lines annoying. at the post office are out the door. Do you get to cut to the front of the post office line in the Melbourne City post office? She's, I do not. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could give you the sense that being oh, Lord oh, Mayor gives you what about this? What about front this? of the queue. If anything, I've got to go to the back. Oh, shit. What about this? It's not worth it. It, really, <laughs> you're going to open a public toilet or something, and yeah. you're running late. Can you get a police escort? Can you run a red <laughs> for a public toilet? Oh, I wouldn't, maybe not for a public toilet. I but don't like, you know. know what movies you guys have been watching <laughs> or what you've had before this interview. Uh, but no, none of those things. We have scrutiny, public scrutiny, and yeah. accountability. Yeah, we have a very active office. media yes. who make Keeping sure that we Sally are held to check. account. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, We're the media, but we think it would be grouse if you got to push in all the lines. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord Mayor. We'd be like, thank you. See, Sally, you say the you, post shop. I she wish, like, wish I'd spoken to you at the start. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, on behalf of everyone in Melbourne, thank you so much for the last few years. Thank and you. Jokes aside, it, I, it wouldn't be an easy job. You've been such a great ambassador for Melbourne. I know any function, event or football match I walk into, you can see you across the room. You have this presence about you and you light up the room. Dance so, floor so, at the thank races. You. Was it, it was Sally that we had to pry you off, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we, we had a dance <laughs> in, the, no, no, no. in the Lexus market. She stood still and you danced. <laughs> you went in for the hug. Yeah, I, <laughs> Well, it was late in the day. It was. <laughs> it was ten forty-five. I should have mentioned that in yeah. my highlight reel. Exactly, actually, Sally. no, we didn't with ask. Clint we away. didn't ask yeah. for your low lights this uh, morning. Thank you so much for what you do as well. Keeping that energy and that vibe for Melbourne is so important. We got through the worst of times in yeah. COVID, and we are facing into the best of times. Yes. So well done. Keep up the good work, and I'll be listening. And good luck for whatever you do next. Thank you. We'll be watching. Thank you, Sally Cap. Join us. I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. Well, we're, um, we are off for two weeks. We'll still be on air, but just not live. But we'll be sort of here. Lauren, I'm going to miss fun. you. Well, I'm a bit apprehensive to go because it means I don't get to see my Clinty for no. two weeks. <clears throat> two weeks, no Clint. No. <clears throat> Shame. I mean, what daily That's phone sad. calls, <clears throat> daily check ins. As for Jace, I wish I was staying away for a month. <laughs> <laughs> they say anyway, we abs- are on going on yeah, what, what do they say, Jace? Here we go. Here we go. I know what you're going to try and say? say. What do they say? Is it abstinence? No, abstinence? Abstinence. <laughs> abstinence. Yes. Makes the heart grow stronger. Fonder? No, it's distance <laughs> makes the heart grow fonder. Not abstinence ha- makes the heart show. What did you say? Go longer. Go stronger. Go stronger. I hate to think what Abs- ab- abstinence as- does as well. <laughs> As they say, Clint, <laughs> abstinence makes the heart go stronger. <laughs> oh, thanks, Houdini. What, what wise man told you that? Gandhi. 
<laughs> Gandhi. Thanks, Gandhi. Yeah. No, anyway, um, that won't happen. But I'm going for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. And I'm very excited. I'm going on a summer vacay. Yeah. I'm leaving our great warm. country. You're going to warm your bones. Going somewhere warm, which means this time of year, I don't have the wardrobe, probably nor the physique to be going <laughs> to where I'm going. <laughs> it's been a long winter. In no way. Winter's three weeks long so far. <laughs> It's been a long three weeks. I'm not prepped for the Euro summer. Put but it we that were way. prepped for winter. But I did do the bit of the end of financial year shop for the summer outfits, which I do every year. And Good you've call. seen me. Yeah. I get my nose buried in my phone and I go, I'm just going to buy it all online. Mm. It'll arrive. I don't have a lot of time. You'll like arrive the- at the house. I'll do a try. And- the great thing about online shopping, you just send it back don't if you? it doesn't fit. And let me tell you, most of it doesn't fit. You like a knit, don't you? <clears throat> Oh, you, you got to have a bit of crochet in your wardrobe yeah. if you're going to Europe for summer. Although, I have I haven't done it this year because last year y'all told me I look like a Christmas ham with some of the outfits. <laughs> I chose. No, no, we, ne- no, we, we did, never it, but said, we love ham. That. <laughs> we love ham, <laughs> but we love ham. We do. So I, I've I've gone more ham. um more kind of cottony linen with sleeves, of course. Yeah, cottony linen. <laughs> Just a bit more moo moo style. Is <laughs> what do you mean with like, well, like, a, like a kaft? As like, opposed to like, like a musketeer. <laughs> <laughs> like puff sleeves? No, like a puff. I've got one with a puff sleeve. I thought that would be cute for a little dinner. Puffy sleeves? Oh, no. Just like, I'm, it's just not skimpy. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, right. not in the skimpy era. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the issue I have. Is that I've ordered it all, and it all arrives on Monday, and, and you I leave today. today. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, no, but, this, this, but this what's annoying better. is I this bought is it. Bit. Like some of it, I bought on Netaporter, which is like an online mm. e-retailer, and um, I, they're normally based in Hong Kong, and they're pretty quick. And then I got the notification saying your package is coming from Rome via the Hong Kong distribution center <laughs> to then come to your house, and I'm going. To, to, Rome. to Rome. And my outfits are all coming to Melbourne and they're in the air somewhere. You must call them. Well, I cut's too late. I can't keep click and collect. Can they I'm leave it? arrive in Rome and go down to the depot. Could they leave it at one of the airport lockers? <laughs> so I'm back oh, in no. my crochet from last summer. Oh, the ham's back. Yeah, the ham's going we back love to ham. Greece. <laughs> oh, ham keeps for a long time. <laughs> in a handbag. <laughs> Overrated. Overrated. Absolutely overrated. Or underrated. I'm tired of being underrated. Guys, every week, we'd like to catch up. This this is sort of a a PSA. It's like, hey, I've got something that's underrated you need to try. Or, just a heads up, something's overrated and you're wasting your time with it. I experienced one this morning. I Mm -hmm. witnessed one Clint Stanaway experimenting, or sorry, experiencing something I think is overrated. What? Bagels. No, they're not. They're delicious. I think, if anything, they're underrated. No. A lot of dough. Always feel heavy. No. A a blueberry bagel. Mm -mm 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 You can put cream cheese on it. Never had cream cheese. They're quite doughy. They're not cream cheese. It's delicious. Isn't there a seasoning called everything bagel or something similar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to find it at the supermarket. I couldn't get my hands on it. Yeah. It's a seasoning. It's like a four or five spice seasoning, which is called everything bagel. Yeah. And it's got... All the herbs and spices it's in the world bagel. that you need. Yeah. Underrated. Poppy seeds. All purpose seasoning. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, if you're it's doing really hot strong. chips or something at home, all you'd, purpose. All purpose. Have you not had it? I don't think so. Oh, it's living. Mm. Yeah. No, it's all bright pe- orange. Of course, no, it's good it for you. It sounds a bit like. It's great bit for mass. you. That spice aisle has really, really started to expand. Now, Nando's have yes. their own spices and seasoning. Uh, and in do- Woolies? Yeah. The supermarket. Yeah. yeah. And Nando's. Don't, it, yeah. It's been there for ages. You can get lemon, the sauce. Lemon, what is it? Lemon. Peri, peri yeah. sauce. Lemon, yeah. lemon and herb. Yeah. Lemon, lemon and herb. Lemon and herb, yep. as my dad would say. And don't what? even start me on the Asian food section. What's Everything, happened there? Oh, everything's in there. I bought bao buns and you Did name you? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong. The international aisle at the supermarket. Underrated. underrated. It is so good. You can get everything from your wonton noodles, wonton and noodles, to your Dr. Tacos. Pepper. <laughs> your tacos and your Dr. Yeah, Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Yep, and those That's... funny, delicious little hey, Japanese lollies. No one's buying Dr. Pepper these no, days. No, no, no. Remember when it first came in and everyone was obsessed with it? That was all just a bit of 
colour and fluff, wasn't it? I went it? to the uh, American supermarket oh. near Moorabbin the other What'd week. What'd you get, Dr Pepper? No, no, no. The boys wanted to buy some American candy or something. Oh, yeah. We're in there looking. There's some rogue stuff. Do the your States kids ca- say candy, not lollies? I've yeah. noticed that. Why? Yeah, very American. YouTube, YouTube. Mm. Halloween. Yeah. You okay. know, so many influences. Can we have candy? I've got something overrated. A new Eminem song, Houdini. Oh! Play it. It's like, it's, it's the old song, but it's a new version, and it's, people are loving it. I said to someone in the car the other day, this song, and people they're like, are I loving love it. it. It sounds like I'm walking into Luna Park. Houdini, doesn't it? Don't you think? 100%. It's yeah. sort of like got that evil clown type tone to it. Yeah, see, it sounds like it's something at Luna Park. Mm. Mm, Not yeah. for me. Well, it's just you can't make old songs great again. Stick to the original. Exactly. Hey, a shout, out, back. a shout out to all the blokes out there. I've got an underrated. A couple of days ago, I experienced a spray tan. And what did you think Can afterwards? Can I tell you, it gave me an immense glow up. And you know what? A shot of confidence too. Yeah, seriously. And as you've been working out, it made your muscles pop. It, you looked it more ripped. Popped, made my muscles pop more. Lauren, that's what you meant to say? No, I made them pop. <laughs> <laughs> spray tans are... But do you know... You, you feel healthier. Yeah, you know I know, but it's a degrading process. No. You know what we also experienced when I was getting my spray tan? Old Mr. Tan Man over here, Jace Hawkins. Thought he who, was an expert. As it turns out, has had a few glow ups in I his time. Had a couple huh? in my time. I think you're too ginger to have a spray tan. <laughs> Your hair would look like your skin. <laughs> you can't be doing that. <laughs> wow. Okay, shots fired. Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't believe you're offended by that. I thought you would have agreed with me. No, did I, you think you looked great with it? Well, I thought I did, but that's all right. Do you have a photo? In hindsight, I looked like my bloody hair was on no, fire. No, you would have looked like a burnt carrot. <laughs> Garfield. Something underrated. <laughs> you didn't mm. like that, did you? <laughs> you did, well, did you get one for your wedding or a special occasion? Did you? I did one for a wedding and the races once. Oh, it would have really brought for out the, your oh eyes. Oh, my gosh. We saw a photo of you at the races the other day and we oh, thought, what's chompers. happened to him? Maybe well, that was a spray tan day where his teeth looked extra big and extra oh, white. big. It looked like far lap. Did they, oh, they look like a married at first sight Yeah. Job. He was, I reckon it was the spray tan. I told you. <laughs> it was you. the races. I probably had a smile on my face all day. Oh, yeah. Um, underrated. Got the kids one the other day, had a hoon, and was like, oh, this is bringing back some memories. Soft serve. Mm. No, they're not underrated. No, no, no. Every like Everyone's going out about gelato, Messina. Mm. No, no, All no. these fancy the OG, ones today. Baby. The OG soft serve. Whack a flake in it and you are living. Oh, chuck oh, dip. No, living. Flake. The sherbet. And I love the sherbet. sherbet. Oh, 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 Mr. Whippy with the sherby. You know what? Bring back Wendy's. Remember they used to have all the different soft serves, like the agro soft yes. serves? Oh, yes. yeah, and they did the faces. Yeah, the they cowboy. put the teeth on there and everything. Mm. Yep. That was good. Oh, Wendy's. Underrated. Underrated. Mm. Another snack that's underrated. I've become obsessed with them. Paul's like, get them out of the house. Instead of having potato oh, no, chips, no. we're having slices of seaweed. Salt and, be- oh, salt no. and vinegar that, seaweed. That belongs in, in a prison. The, in the sea. No, it doesn't. It belongs in my mouth. It's delicious. <laughs> can it's we very get that? Good for can you. I get that grab isolated, please? It's very good for you. <laughs> very good for your skin. Seaweed. Just play it when guests are coming in. I that belongs it. in my mouth. In my mouth, baby. Can tell you now, if I was a kid, who am I kitty? If it was me and I wanted chips and someone mm. served me seaweed. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's good in sushi. It's good in traps. Any more? Nah. <laughs> this whole segment, overrated. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I swam in that um, celebrity swimming race at the Australian Swim Trials. You did, and gee, you look good. I got your spray tan and everything. You did what'd too. You, uh, what'd you come third? I touched the wall third, yeah. The team let me down. Uh, we finished, we <laughs> That's finished real seventh. team play in there, Clint. I know That's the feeling, Clint. Is. I know uh, the feeling. It was daunting. It was daunting um, getting on the blocks, knowing the rig had to be out. Anyway, so that was part of the reason why I decided I needed to get in shape. And so I've been doing this weeks for 12 weeks. I made a conscious decision. You're off the to booze. change a few habits. Full transformation. You I look was, amazing. Your skin and your eyes. It looks 10 years younger. Oh, Oh, thank you. You're not happy all the time, though. You've no, been a little moody. Been a little there's, been, there's been some like, angry. yeah, some angry, some angry moments. What do you have for breakfast? A boiled egg. This morning I had a Cliff protein bar. You're in <laughs> the final days, shake. though, aren't you? I'm in the final days before sort of an announcement of sorts happens on Monday. Is that like the you man shake? Sort of. I think we should do the man shake diet. So do I. Uh, and the lady I shake. I noticed they're sponsoring our show. I thought, that's us, Jace. Do you reckon? Do you reckon it's probably a sign? should have done it pre Euro vacay, but <laughs> I might do it post Euro vacay. The three of us can't be hangry at the same time. We won't. We'll be on the man shake. 
Uh, it's been a it's been hard. So I've been off the grog, not one drop of alcohol the whole time. That's impressive. Three months, well done. The food has to be, you know, clean. Clean. Um, I, I think I've lost somewhere in the order of eight kilos. So it's been worth it. Actually, Jace, you've been very observant. This was uh, two months ago. You said this. Clint, you're in a bit of a fitness a campaign. kick at the moment. Jace yeah. just said, gee, you, you look good. Schvelt. You look oh, good in the I face. You can, you've really got a, a pronounced jawline. Have currently. you felt the guns? Yeah, you made me get, feel them Get before. the shirt off. No, I'm not getting the shirt off just yet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> just yet. He had a pronounced jawline. Now he's a ball of muscle. Because you've, you've been training too. It's not just, yeah. this isn't a weight loss oh, thing. This is like a full. What are you doing? Like you ripped. Lauren knows. Is men's health still a thing? I don't know. I think so. Joel Creasy was on the front cover. He looked great. He looked awesome. Maybe you should do that. Oh, it's a lot of work. Well, you- transformation. A man shake could get you. Well, it is a transformation. <laughs> are you ready to tell me? What do you think, Lauren? Should I tell him? Yeah. Come on. I, the thing is, it's under embargo until, he, oh, so well, for a few weeks yet. But under embargo what I'm doing, means you can't tell people. Yeah, the, the first step on this journey happens on Monday. Now, I think we should tell him, Lauren. Tell him. But I can't tell Melbourne, so... Can you? Oh. Is there any way of? Is there any way of turning your turning the mics down while I tell you? What? And then we'll just get his reaction. Yeah. <laughs> this is Sorry, such, Melbourne. This is. I such know it a sucks tease. for you, but I need to know. But I think when you hear Jace's reaction. Okay. All right. You ready? That'll do it. Anyway. Are they all off? Yeah. Wait. Are they all off? Tell me in one, two, three. <laughs> Say something. Get. <laughs> I would shred for 12 weeks also. And you said yes. I said yes. <laughs> oh, Clint. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's so, multifaceted. You need to learn the word no. <laughs> N-O. <laughs> Why didn't they ask Jace to do it? <laughs> Can, what can I just I say? Can what I? Have I done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when can we tell our listeners? Because this is a. Can, can I just say, Melbourne? It is worth the wait. It is. It'll be. The it'll issue be, here is that boys, there's many issues. Boys here, got Clint. the moves, Jay. So the, <laughs> the first step on this journey. Have we got lights on sing along today? Yeah. Yeah. We should yeah, do, I'm thinking the same we thing. Should do dance, <laughs> we should do Dancing Queen. <laughs> the, when when the can you share official, it with Melbourne? Well, when we get back from our holiday. Okay, great. All right. How many um, more days till the shred's over? When, when do you well, do it? When thing. do you do it? Here's Are you doing thing. man versus food? Are you doing it in food? a couple of days? No. <laughs> Are you doing man no. versus food where you get really fit and then no, you the, just eat McDonald's no, for three months? No, the promo journey starts on Monday. And then I might have to continue the shred. That's the bad the, news. You'll have to, yeah, you'll have to continue the shred. Till when? Till he's done. Till, till this event takes place. When does the event take place? We oh, must oh, go. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I no. can't go to that. No, no. absolutely not. <laughs> Melbourne, I promise we will reveal it when we come back so from holidays. So there's other people involved is what you're telling us. Yes. yes. Anyone we know? Yeah, a couple of friends of the show. Then you, like, you'll like you tell Melbourne, you'll bear yeah, all yeah, when yeah. we get back. I will Yeah, I will bear all. Okay, Clint. Um, sorry, you're not Clint. Jace. Yeah. Don't he's, get us confused because I ain't doing Clint. that. <laughs> what it, just your final words. What do you think about this situation? I think it's a disaster. (laughs) (laughs) Good morning, Melbourne. Here we go. $5,000 on the line. Kyle is joining us. Good morning, Kyle. Happy Friday. Good morning, Jace. How are you going? Doing well, buddy. Doing well. Good morning, Kyle. Good on you, Kyle. What are you up to this morning? How are you, Clint? How are you, Lauren? Good. What are you up to Uh, this morning? Not not, not too much, actually. I'm just having a bit of a lazy morning watching a bit of um, blow deck and having a coffee in bed at this, this day. Jason's favourite hobby. That is living. Favourite reality you show. Come, mates. Absolutely. Yeah, you got a spot on the couch good. there, Kyle? Yes, yes. I got. A, I got. A, I got a spot on the couch. The only yeah, issue is he's um, barracks the down with the wife. What's that? Barracks of the bombers. Uh, That's all right. You're yeah. a Collingwood man. I am a Collingwood man. Um, hey, uh, here's your big question first up this morning, Kyle. Do you want to take an easy question for 50 bucks, a medium question for 500, or roll the dice and go a hard question for $5,000? What are we feeling? Uh, I'll roll the dice, go for the hard one for the 5K. Let's do it. Let's do it, Kyle. $5,000. Kyle, 
Lauren's going to give you one question. You get three seconds to answer. If you don't know, I suggest you guess. Oh, God. Okay. Here with $5,000. Where are the Summer Olympics being held in 2028? Three, oh, God. 2028. Two, one. Um, Los Angeles. Kyle. Yeah. You got it. You, you got won. It. Oh! You're kidding. Was he was on the he was in? It's Los Angeles. He was in. You're kidding. He was in. He was in. There's some You're controversy kidding. about people before or after the oh buzzer. My God. He oh was my in. God. I'm paying him oh five thousand. Oh, 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 oh my god. Five thousand dollars. Kyle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. What does that mean to you, brother? Chat amongst yourselves, um, guys. Um, I'll be back. Um, oh, um, oh my god. <laughs> I've got to a one-year anniversary for my wife and I come up on Monday and I've got to get her a present. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you're going to get her a bloody good present now, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, pressure's on. Oh, oh. my God. So my phone's shaking. My hand is shaking. Oh, my God. Like Lauren, Phillips, <laughs> Lauren Phillips has just gone to the video review. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The arms are in the air out there and I thought I read the question wrong. I can confirm. <laughs> The question was correct. Yeah. And the, and answer, the answer was, was correct. correct. Yeah. 5,000 bucks. And he got, got in before the buzzer, He's which means... Hang on, what there. happened? How did you know that, Kyle? That was not a guess, was it? Um, no, 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 no. I just, I just, I just, I just, my wife was, the wife was, the wife was um, just, just saying, saying, saying something, quoting it, something. I'm like, oh, oh, I don't know. Good on you, Kyle. Oh, mate. I don't know what oh, you're saying there, you, mate. No, <laughs> you you lost it. me, Kyle. He's <laughs> loving life. That's Five. what he's doing. Thousand dollars! Congratulations, Kyle, our latest 5K winner. There you go. What a way to go into the weekend. Enjoy the money, brother. Morning, everyone. This is Melbourne's Kiss. Uh, sorry. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Jeez. <laughs> that's um, <laughs> not, that's not on. Not today. <laughs> that's a fine. Do you know what? We should we should find, Jace, $5,000. Yes, it could go to Put our last in the kitty. That's it. That's, 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 that's a big night. It's our last day before holidays. And I... you've gone and dropped that at 8.16. Shame. Shame. Wash shame. my mouth out. Sh- you want to go back there? No, please don't send you me You don't back. behave yourself? Please. I will send you back. Please don't send me back. <laughs> you want to go back? No, I promise. Chase, I promise say we'll sorry. Back. I'm sorry. Please don't send me back. Send him back. Please say please sorry. Him. I've had enough. To our wonderful employers <laughs> here at Nova. very sorry, Nova. Please don't send me back. I don't want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay. Please let me stay. <laughs> <laughs> you silly man. I'm a silly little man. Can we move on and catch up with our friend? Oh. Joining us from the... Where's he from? Are you going to balls this one up too? Pretty sure it's the Demons. <laughs> Melbourne Football Club, Christian Petrarca. Good morning, morning Trey. Hello. Good morning, guys. Did you hear that? Good morning. Did you I heard hear that. Yeah. I mean, look. Shame, look, right? Man, it was a long was, time. We were there for a long time. Well, Absolutely you were. embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> 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 new, um, place has, new place has heaters. I know. And that's Hazard's why we new love place. you, Nova. We Petrarca. love Nova. Hey, Track, how are you feeling, brother? Nah, feeling good. Feeling better. I had a uh, had a appointment yesterday, which is good, just to follow up with the, with the trauma uh, surgeon. And um, yeah, all positive news, which is thank God. So oh, um, that's great news. So, so what are you doing a, though? Bit are of you, relief. Are you just at home, or can are you going to the club? Can you do anything? Are you on bed rest? I'm allowed to do a little bit more now, which is good. So. Oh. I got paparazzi just the other day <gasps> by Bella, Bella and I walking out the front of our house, which is very funny. The pap? Did you spot uh, them? We looked terrible, which hey. is hilarious. And did we were you- just going for a walk, and <laughs> <laughs> just Lauren can got, give me some got tips. Got sent a link by the Daily Mail, which is funny. Oh, did you see the photographer taking photos of you? Did you I, I know they were following you? And usually, I'm pretty good with that stuff, oh, and I didn't. He must sneaky. have been hiding. So sneaky, sneaky. Were you wearing like <laughs> your best UGG boots or something? Like every time uh, I get a photo of me, I look terrible. I have. Luckily, I wasn't wearing Ugg boots, but we were in some pretty daggy clothes just going for a walk around the remember block. When, so. um, remember when Albo got papped the morning after oh, winning the election? He was in his pyjamas. He was in his pyjamas. <laughs> yeah. like, give the guy a break. <laughs> hey, um, so we're, both, we're both wearing full makeup now when we leave the house. Yeah. So no, they've go. never got me when I've had a blow wave and a full face of makeup track. It's always when you look your worst. <laughs> what? Because um, you're not moving and you're not gymming and all that, have you? I'm just intrigued. Have you lost weight? I have lost four and a half kilos oh, in wow. two and a half weeks. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> so, so what? No, it's all right. I expect it to happen. I mean, 
it's probably more the actual gym rather rather than the actual uh, cardio. When you when you don't do as much gym, obviously muscle weighs more than yeah. fat. So yeah, that, are you out that's of, definitely expected. Are you out of like isolation? Because I know you had to sort of isolate from the world for a while, like the man in the bubble. Yeah, I've been out probably of ISO for maybe three or four days now. So it's it's been nice. I haven't really, I haven't gone straight back into a normal life of yeah. you know catching seeing mates and having heaps of people over and going places. I still not allowed to drive just yet, but um. No, I've slowly started to have, you know, my brothers over and maybe a couple of friends, but um, no, I'll slowly integrate my normal life in the next couple of weeks. Oh, nice. Are you watching a bit of footy again, mate? Uh, a little bit. I, I didn't watch much last week. I only watched our game against North, and then yeah. tonight I'll watch our game against Brizzy. Uh, but Did- I, I can't stand watching it for some reason. I'm just like... <laughs> I just, yeah. I, our game, I just feel helpless. It's just that's probably hard. I've never actually been a spectator. I've been it was my it was my first game I've missed in six years or seven years. So it was, wow. a, it was how do you, a how do you go yeah. as an armchair supporter? Are you screaming at the Terrible. TV? <laughs> One of my best mates is a massive Melbourne supporter, so we we're just messaging the whole time. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's that's what us mere mortals do. Yeah, we sit and watch the footy and we text our friends. And going, you, I can't you, believe what I'm saying. And you might not realise, but you guys can't hear us when you're on the field. <laughs> uh, it's that's, it's very that's, Frustrating. <laughs> would, um, you're, you're right. <laughs> is there a world in which um, Goody, the coach, Simon Goodwin, might get you into the into the coach's box when you're fit to sort of be back amongst the, the team? Yeah, maybe, potentially. It'd be something I'd um, look into at the moment, as I said last week or two weeks ago to you guys. It's still quite raw for me, mm. but we've got, in, obviously, interstate game tonight. Uh, maybe next week when we play West Coast, I think, at the G. Potentially. It's something that I just want to take day by day, yeah. whether, I, whether I'm up to it or not. I don't want to commit anything to the club by saying, yep, I'll be there every week because you just, just with these injuries, you just don't know with your immune yeah. system and and obviously at the ground there's 30, 40,000 people there so um, it's something I, I would be open to getting back into doing something like that but yeah, at the moment probably uh, I'll have a bit more of a rest. <laughs> Track what uh, what reality telly are you watching? You just you're binging some I, crap movies? I've been watching the, I've been smashing the Tour de France documentary. Oh, the yes. This weekend. Pardon? Does it start this weekend? It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It does. Oh, nice. I watched That's Bridget Jones' diary last night. That was good. How <laughs> good is Bridget Jones' diary? I swear I am Bridget Jones half the time. Has anyone seen the Roger Federer doco on Amazon? No, apparently it's yet. incredible. Need to see it. Yeah, apparently it's awesome. You seen that I one, track? I haven't seen that. I've pro- no, I'll watch that. Put it on your uh, list. Clint's just what? started watching Bridgerton. Now, have mm. you been sucked into that yet? Uh, I've been... So, usually, I don't really watch much TV. Bella does. And I have been watching... Bridgerton loosely, mm. only when the, uh, the 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 sex scene pop up. That's when oh, I kind of I go, "What are you? I go, "What are you watching, Belle?" So yeah, I'll tune in now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tonight, track yeah, it's a big match for the footy club. Um, it's sort of like oh, I don't want to say it's make or break because you're eight and six, right? But it it could go a long way to building some uh, much made, much needed momentum. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I think Brisbane are two points or four points behind us, and that whole bunch there's about ten ten teams who are you know within a game really, and um, and it's crazy how we're only a game behind top, I think third or fourth, which is um, just shows how even the competition is. And Brisbane are in some hot form, so it's going to be a cracker game, and obviously, especially up at the Gabba where um, they, they they play really well there, and um, so it'll be a hostile environment tonight. No no doubt, the boys are firing for it and. Are getting ready for it, um, especially a Friday night game. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, it, I wouldn't say it's season defining, but it is. It is a big game for us for our footy club and just gaining some confidence and momentum going to um, the back end of the year. Let's just hope no light towers catch on fire or anything this time. Oh, was that Brisbane Melbourne when that yeah. happened? Yeah. yeah, that was true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The light tower on fire. It? The blackout was crazy oh times, gosh. Lauren. Crazy what times. What a time to be alive. Well, track. It's so nice to talk to you. I'm so glad you're feeling a bit better. Thank you, guys. I'll, uh, what's it called? Oh. You guys done? Hey, yeah, we track. are finishing for two weeks today. We are going on oh, holidays, lovely. brother. Just, so we'll talk uh, to you in a couple of weeks. I've just seen the paparazzi shots. Does he look great? Oh, he looks so much. Like, I mean, look, after everything you've been through, and you still look better than me on a walk. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's not surprising. It isn't. It is hard. You don't it's walk? What are you talking about, Jace? To the car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, track, rest up, mate. We'll chat in a couple of weeks, all right? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Take care. Right. Lots of love. Track. There he goes. Christian Petrarca joining us on the air. Hey, thanks to our mates at East Bentley Dental Group. Uh, all dental under one roof. Visit ebdg.com.au. East Bentley Dental Group. They know their stuff. They do. They do. Quite a good chat with the uh, head doctor there. Did you? When? In the toilets. 
In the dunnies. Yep, at a function. I hate the expression in the dunnies. I can't yeah, I do. It's yeah, shiny yeah, yeah. or the loo. Mm. Oh. You I say do. that all the time. I didn't know whether to put my hand out. Yeah, you do. I hate the loo. You say you hate it, but then you say it. I didn't know whether to put my hand out. What What do you mean? You don't shake hands in bathrooms, no. That's what I thought. I did a head nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except Yes. I'm going to meet you. All right. What are we doing? A bow. <laughs> <laughs> you bowed at the you urinal. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no. I feel like you would lose control. It's a shallow bow. Anyway, lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> like he's the king. <laughs> Should we make that a thing? Bow. When we meet people. Why don't we introduce a urinal bow? <laughs> no, not at the oh. urinal. <laughs> <laughs> no, you only bow to the king. No, but you cur- no I curtsy to Yeah, you'd curtsy at the... I, I reckon we make you, bowing yeah. a thing. I'm not curtsying in the office bathrooms. <laughs> 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 Good morning. Into, okay. Good morning, Alison, and a little curtsy. You're curtsy, you've got, you're actually going to piss yourself. <laughs> I don't think you'd come back up. <laughs> deep squat. No, don't do it too deep. Oh, no, you don't want me to do Never curtsy too deep. Yeah, you might get, you can might we, struggle um, getting back we, up. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, back on Okay, track. all right, okay, back to Lauren's lips. Uh, all right. How this works, Lawson's going to put on noise cancelling headphones. Thank God, I don't have to listen to you two for a minute. Clint oh, and I are going to okay, enjoy so the yeah, <laughs> We're going to enjoy the silence as well. How do you? And then... Uh, we're going to say things, and Lauren has to try and lip read what we are saying. All right, put on your. <laughs> You've got a relic from 1950 there. <laughs> Have you said the headphones never handed me? What? Where are we? Where did these come from? What? Describe they're, they're, them. They're, they're shedding. They're shedding. And what about the what about the muff want... part of it? What about the muff part? It's all. I don't want that. It's soiled. On my head. Oh, put her on. You look great, by the way. You look like Princess Leia. You look like, um, <laughs> I'm taking them off. What did you say? You look like Princess Leia. <laughs> I'm so Who was the first man on radio? It looks like they belonged to you. <laughs> Chuck them on. Come on. There we go. All right. You look great. <sighs> Silence. Can you hear us? Does she listen anyway? Okay. You got us? All right. She no, can't do a thing. All right, here we away go. With the I'm gonna go I'm going to go political. First up. Oh, okay. Why? What's wrong? Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Loz. Lo- Lauren. Lo- you ready? Yeah, I'm Where ready. Away. Yeah, we've been waiting to play. All right. We've been waiting to play. Chuck your headphones okay. in. Okay. Okay, all right. Tell me when you're ready, Doc. All right, let's go. Okay, all right. We're ready an hour ago. Sleepy Joe is a snoozing Sharon. Selena Gomez is gorgeous. Nope. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Is a snoozing Sharon. Selena Gomez had a cool shower. No, nope, not Selena. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Is a snoozing. Had a cool shower. No, no one's having a shower. Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Joe is a snoozing Sharon. Did a number two. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? No. Wow. Is a snoozing Sharon. A snoozing Sharon. It was a. Uh, the ScoMo did that. The Maccas, wasn't it? A poo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, might have pooed. Yeah. All right, here we go. Your parcel isn't coming today. Humour isn't happening today. Well, no, it's up there. Well, your parcel. Your parcel. My parcel. <laughs> is isn't not coming, coming today. today. <laughs> isn't coming today. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. She is I ordered good. all these outfits for Europe. Oh, I'm going on holidays today. The entire and show. arriving via DHL on Monday. There is hope. Ah, oh, okay. I'm, I don't fit into last year's outfits. That's the problem. Here we go. Ready? Clint is getting his hog out. Liz thinks it's going to be okay. Nope. Clint is getting his hog out. What? Liz is doing something in her whole house. Nope. Clint is getting his hog out. Liz is entering Holland House. No. <laughs> Who is Liz? Clint. Clint? Clint is getting his hog out. Clint is leasing out his house. No. Clint is getting his hog out. Clint is getting his what out? Hog. <laughs> Honk. Hog. Hong Kong. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I am, but anyway. Hog. Clint is getting his Hong Kong out. No, Clint is getting his That's hog close, yeah, out. Yeah, close enough. Let's not talk about my Clint hog anymore. Clint is getting anymore. a holiday house. No, don't worry. He's We're not... buying a beach house. Holiday house. No. <laughs> What's Clint doing with he's, his Hong Kong? He's getting his hog out. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know about that. Because he's been doing the shred. Mm. He's shredding. Yeah, he's been doing the shred. All right, you want to do one more? 
I'm going swimming with Teddy Swims. I'm going swi- swimming with Teddy Swims. Yeah! Oh, Teddy good. Swims. Is he a good swimmer? Don't know. Does Should Teddy actually him. swim? You can take the headphones off now. We'll ask him on stage. Oh, okay. Yeah. We still going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got another one? No. Does I've just Teddy told swim? Her, I've just told her we're still going, oh. so she keeps the headphones off. Oh, okay. It's a long segment yeah. now. It, in fact, I'm going to go to the break, but we should, okay. in just front of her, pretend we're still on the air, okay. so she just stays there with the headphones okay. on. Okay. Yeah. Back in the seat. Oh, Teddy Swims tickets. They're next. Oh, cool. Um, hey, that is it. We are about to get out of here, but we've got the tickets everyone wants. I am talking about tickets to the Nova Red Room to see Teddy Swims. <laughs> How good. We have your exclusive invites to Nova's Red Room. The only place you can win them is here on Nova. You can also register via the Nova Player app. Jace, can we give some away now? We can indeed. Let's go to Sam. Hello, Sam. Morning, Sam. Um, morning, Jace. Morning, Lauren. Would you like to come and see Teddy Swims in the Nova Red Room with us? Oh, yes, please. I'm a huge fan. Well, Amazing. Those Sammy. invites are yours, Sam. You're coming along. Thank you so much, and great to have you guys back on the radio. Oh, oh thank thanks, you. Sam. It's good to be back. We nearly sent Jace back to the old place yeah. today. He wasn't should behaving we send, himself. Should we send him back? Please don't. <laughs> oh, no. I can't live without Jace and Lauren and you, Quinn. Oh, oh thank you, sweet, Sammy. Sam. Well, we'll see you at the Nova Red Room with Teddy Swims in a couple of weeks. You know who else we'll see there is you, Cathy. Hello. Thank you. I've just won Mother of the Year. I'm going to send my kids. Oh, Kathy, oh, good, on, good you, on you, Mother what do you mean of the Year. Send them. I'm not looking I after them, Kathy. I think I've got the list of things on the fridge for them to do for the weekend. I'm going to sit back and have a good weekend and send them along in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. You tell them to sing pour you a sis. glass of wine. Yeah, good mum, on you, Kathy. Mum wants a coffee. If you don't do that, you're not getting your Teddy Swims oh, invite. Well done, Mum. That is How awesome. How good. We'll look out for the kids there. We can't wait to meet them. Thank you for being a friend. Guys, we made it. We're doing it. We're getting out of here. We're out of here. here. Not just for the weekend. We're on holidays for two weeks, Melbourne. Um, While we, I will miss. Recuperate. We're recuperating. I will miss waking up at four o'clock in the morning, every morning. Four o'clock. To hang out with Jason Clint. God, she must just watch a movie or something before she gets here. Sometimes I roll in at (laughs) five to six. You're watching an (laughs) app. You're getting up at four. I don't know what you're doing for an hour and a half. What time do you get up? Uh, 10 to 5? Yeah, I'm 5. Yeah. yeah. My, hey, my alarm goes off at 4.30. Can we just say um, a massive thank you for the first six months here at Nova? Yes. We have had an absolute ripping time. Thank you to everyone who listens to the show. Yeah. Um, and everyone who followed us over to Nova 100 as well. We've been having the absolute <laughs> time of our lives, but um, we are off for a couple of weeks. We'll be back live on yep. the 15th of July with many a story mm. to tell, I'm sure, about... <gasps> You're moving into your new house. Yep. You're going to Europe. I'm going to <coughs> Europe, honey. I've got absolutely nothing to wear. You're going to start yep. eating. Uh, well, I, well, maybe. Um, I'm you can't the tread on your holidays. Well. I'm, I'm getting ready for the Olympics. Yes. I'm not competing. What are you but... competing in, Clint? <laughs> Journalism. High jump? The javelin. <laughs> Imagine the javelin. But, I'd be uh, that. but honestly, thank you so much for joining us for the first yeah. six months of the year. We can't wait to be back July 15. Is that when we're back? Yes, that's when the alarm will be set for. But for now, we're off to have a sleep in for a couple of weeks. Hey, have a great school holidays, everyone. I know there's lots of people dropping their kids oh. off for the last day today. School holidays. Yes, kids. Suck it, Jace. Shit. Yes, Jace. <laughs> Stop swearing. And you know what will happen? You'll have to pick them up half day today. I bet you. I bet you they'll Are your kids them. even there today? Yeah, they are. Oh, good. Yep, yep, yep. Put them in aftercare. Aftercare. Get your money's worth. <laughs> I think they're actually taking that Monday, the first Monday back, they're taking that. No, they're well. not. Clear. Yeah, yeah, I reckon they, they should go back on the Wednesday. That's guys, a good idea. We the must teachers go. need some days. We must go. We're out of here, guys. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in a we couple of weeks. You. We must go. Love you. Thank you. On Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.